morning. Thank you for uh, staying after church today and helping me with my speech today. It's kind of hard to follow Pastor uh, Mitch, but I'm going to try to do my best. Uh, all you already know my name. My name is Travis Cornwall, and I am currently a student at Columbia College, and I'm taking a class on public speaking, uh, hopefully to further my capability as a public speaker. Um, today, I will give you a few personal anecdotes about my public speaking and then an analysis of my strengths, my weaknesses, and ways that I can improve. I think the first time I remember public speaking was in high school. It was my senior year, uh, last game of the year. It was for the SEC championship. No pun intended on the other <laughs> SEC, but high school ball. And uh, we were uh, undefeated at the time. We were going into halftime, losing though. This was something new to us. And after the coach made his uh, first half adjustments, um, I felt as a as the uh, team captain, that I needed to step up and fire people up. So I felt they gave a pretty moving uh, little speech there, firing people up, explaining that you know we still had some uh, mission to complete, we still had some goals to meet, and uh, if we went outside of that, out, out left the locker room, and ended up winning the game, maybe because of the speech, uh, maybe that inspired some people. But what I did learn about that is uh, when I do speak with from my heart with enthusiasm and. and passion that uh, it does inspire some people um, to uh, at least get my message, um, which brings to my first strength, uh, which is you know, speaking about something that I care about, um, something that I'm passionate about. Um, also, uh, because of my job I, as a company commander for an infantry uh, basic uh, training company, I have the opportunity to speak to trainees and parents, superiors in the military, giving briefs and classes and graduation speeches a lot during the year, and uh, this affords me some experience to better my skill and get a little confidence in front of people. So um, that has really, I think, uh, paid off over the last couple of years um, doing that. This job has also afforded me to have a view on some of my weaknesses, and uh, one of my weaknesses is, as all my kids would tell you, I can be a bit wordy and over detail things a bit. and. Uh, try to give too many examples. Uh, so what uh, way that I try, I look to try to improve that is to uh, really an al analyze my audience and understand who I'm speaking to and what level of detail do they need. And you know, am I speaking to a trainee trying to learn a task, to a parent at a graduation, what they're looking for, so what they're looking for, what they need. Um, so, uh, Another, another area that uh, I've struggled with is um, in, in the military we, we have a high expectation of our leadership. They are looked to be flawless you know, in front of their men, um, in their presentations, how they hold themselves. And so this brings a level of pressure on, um, on military leaders. Uh, every time they stand in front of someone, they're consistently critiqued. And uh, so with that I find a lot of, it's, it's, Every time I get up in front of someone, I want to make sure that I'm holding myself correctly and I'm well prepared. And so sometimes it can be very full of pressure and uh, cause me to uh, um, overthink myself, we'll say. So with that, I, 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 I've tried to install and through this class what I've learned so far is that by preparation, by analyzing my audience and finding out who I'm speaking to, proper preparation, being through an outline, knowing exactly what I want to say and be able to develop it and instead of making it too broad and then rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. That I found that that takes some of that pressure away um, because I have that confidence from the, the experience of, uh, of being successful each, each and every time. So in closing, uh, I, the, utilizing the tools that I've talked about today of, of using analysis of my audience, finding out what it is that exactly they would like to hear, and I'm combining that with uh, preparation, rehearsal, uh, and then combining that with my, my, what I feel is my ability to be enthusiastic about the topics I speak about, I think that I can use that to inspire people and, and into the, whatever it is that I'm talking about. I'd like to thank you all for coming, and uh, I'll see you all next week, unless...